physicists linked two time crystals in a seemingly impossible experiment. New time crystal achievement could help bridge classical and quantum physics. This is really astonishing. Physicists have created a system of two connected time crystals, which are strange quantum systems that are stuck in an endless loop to which the normal laws of thermodynamics do not apply. By connecting two time crystals together, the physicists hope to use the technology to eventually build a new kind of quantum computer. It's a rare privilege to explore a completely novel phase of matter, said Samuli Auti, lead scientist on the project from Lancaster University in the United Kingdom, from crystal to, crit to time crystal. We encounter normal crystals all the time in everyday life, from the ice in the cocktail to the diamonds in jewelry. While crystals are pretty, to a physicist, they represent a breakdown of the normal symmetries of nature. The laws of physics are symmetric through space. That means that the fundamental equations of gravity or electromagnetism or quantum mechanics apply equally throughout the entirety of the volume of the universe. They also work in any direction. So a laboratory experiment that is rotated 90 degrees should produce the same results all else equal being equal, of course. But in a crystal, this gorgeous symmetry gets broken. The molecules of a crystal arrange themselves in a perfect preferred direction, creating a repeating spatial structure. In the jargon of physicists, a crystal is a perfect example of spontaneous symmetry breaking. The fundamental laws of physics remain symmetric, but the arrangement of the molecules do not. In 2012, physicist Frank Wilczek at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology noticed that the laws of physics also have a time symmetry. That means any experiment repeated at a later time should produce the same result. Wilczek made an analogy of, uh, to normal crystals, but in the dimension of time, dubbing this spontaneous symmetry breaking through time a time crystal. A few years later, physicists were able to finally build one. Quantum secrets. A time crystal keeps moving and repeats itself periodically in time in the absence of external encouragement, said Auti. This is possible because the time crystal is in its lowest energy state. The basic rules of quantum mechanics prevent the motion from becoming completely still. And so the time crystal remains stuck in its never-ending cycle. This means they are perpetual motion machines and therefore impossible, remarked Auti. The laws of thermodynamics suggest that systems in equilibrium tend towards more entropy or disorder. A coffee cup sitting out will always cool. A pendulum will eventually stop swimming, swinging. A ball rolling on the ground eventually comes to rest. But a time crystal defies that, or simply ignores it, because the rules of thermodynamics don't seem to apply to it. Instead, time crystals are subject to quantum mechanics, the rules that govern the zoo of subatomic particles. In quantum physics, a perpetual motion machine is fine as long as we keep our eyes closed, and it must only start slowing down if we observe the motion. Auti said, therefore, to the fact that the exotic quantum mechanic states require for time crystals cannot keep operating once they interact with the environment, for example, if we observe them. This implies that physicists can directly observe time crystals. The moment they try to watch one, the quantum rules that allow them to exist break down, and the time crystal grinds to a halt. And that concept ex extends beyond observation. Any strong enough interaction with the external environment that breaks down the quantum state of time crystal will make it stop being a time crystal. This is where Auti's team came in, trying to find a way to interact with a quantum time crystal through classical observations. At the tiniest scale, quantum physics reigns, but bugs and cats and plants, planets and black holes are better described by the deterministic rules of classical mechanics. The continuum form from quantum physics 
to classical physics remains poorly understood. How uh, one becomes the other is only of the understanding outstanding mysteries of modern physics. Time crystals span a part of the interface between the two worlds. Perhaps we can learn how to remove the interface by studying time crystals in detail, said Auti. Magical magnets. In a new study, Auti and his team used magnets to build their time crystal. Magnets are quasi-particles which emerge in the collective state of a group of atoms. In this case, the team of physicists took helium-3, a helium atom with two protons and only one neutron, and cooled it to within a tenth of a degree above absolute zero. At that temperature, the helium-3 transformed into a boson, Bose-Einstein Einstein condensate, where all the atoms share a common quantum state and work in concert with each other. In that condensate, all the spins of the electrons in the helium-3 linked up and worked together, generating waves of magnetic energy, the magnons, and these waves sloshed back and forth forever, making them a time crystal. Auti's team took two groups of magnons, each one operating as its own time crystal, and brought them close enough to influence each other. The combined system of magnons acted as one time crystal with two different states. Auti's team hopes that their experiments can clarify the relationship between quantum and classical physics. Their goal is to build time crystals that interact with their environments without the quantum state disintegrating, allowing the time crystal to keep running while it's used for something else. It would not mean free energy. The motion associated with the time crystal does not have kinetic energy in the usual sense, but it could be used for quantum computing. Having two states is important because that is the basis for computation. In classical computer systems, the basic union of information is a bit which can take either zero or one state, while in quantum computing, each qubit can be in more than one place at the same time, allowing for much more computing power. This could mean that time crystals can be used as a building block for quantum devices that work also outside the laboratory. In such a venture, the two-level system we have now created would be a basic building block, Auti said. This work is currently very far away from a working quantum computer, but it does open up interesting avenues of research. If scientists can manipulate the two-time crystal system without destroying its quantum states, they could potentially build larger systems of time crystals that serve as true computational devices. This was by Paul Sutter, astrophysicist on life science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.